Hello and welcome back to the Road to KSB2. Today we're putting our focus on two launches, one of which is a space station for Duna, and we are finally reaching Jewel with a crewed mission. But first, I would like to ask you to like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Uh, it just helps me out, It'll help you out, technically. And yeah, that would be so much, that would be super appreciated if you could do that, guys. So first off, we're starting an MMS-2, which is a Minmus mission to restock uh, Minmus. But this isn't normal restock. We need to restock it with a spaceship so the Kerbals there can get home in case of emergencies. So we have sent them this lovely autopiloted command pod which isn't our normal launch vehicle for the minmus missions but because they needed it to be auto flown there it uh yeah it had to be flown there this way yeah anyway we quickly uh change our peri apps or no our apple apps so that it finally reaches minmus and we basically set our maneuver node to that point. And now we should get an, a pretty good encounter. It's pretty high up, but we can do a correction burn later, later on. Uh, I do believe that is what we do. But here we are. We are making our, our you know, transfer burn. Our, uh, yeah, I forgot the... I haven't done this in so long because uh, exams. It, exams have been fucking brutal this year uh yeah so i i uh i yeah ha focused on exams and uh yeah it's been it's been a brutal uh month now i don't think i posted a video in a month um and if i have yeah it's it's just been brutal uh i hope you guys had a good thanksgiving i hope you guys had a good beginning of december um i believe hanukkah is soon so if you're you know doing hanukkah have fun with that um, I don't know what else is in December other than Christmas um, and Hanukkah, because I know Hanukkah is always around this time of year as well. But yeah, if you, yeah, just if you celebrate any of those, just tell me how it's going or tell me when they are so I, I know. And um, yeah. And if you're watching this after after that time, put, write in the comments how your uh, how your time went. I'd love to hear it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we're, we're closely coming in for a landing burn. I was using the, uh, the RCS to change where it should be, like, located. I adjusted where I would be landing, and here we are coming in for a landing. I, uh, had to change it around so we don't hit the, uh, the pot itself, and I landed it you know, decently close. Then I extended the solar panels because, you know, it needs that electric charge. Now we're launching Bellum Station, which is our space station that will be sent to Duna. Um, we are launching this on a CDSM-5, uh, which I have put in a very expendable, uh, like, way. Uh wasn't actually meant to be expendable, but I made it, uh, I, I made it expendable. Uh, it shouldn't have been expendable. Actually, I don't think it was expendable. I think I, I very much had it fully expendable. I had to uh, correct that. Yeah, so basically, I got it to orbit. I guess I didn't have it as expendable as I thought I did. Maybe I should land that in the next episode, or the episode after that, because I think I've already recorded all of the next episode. Anyway, um, I realized that the uh, the solar panels that are made for it broke off in the in the actual mission, so that's not good. Um, so here we are. I uh, time warped to when we have a good Duna encounter, because it was coming up in just a couple of days anyway. And there we go. We got our Duna encounter. And now we will basically just burn there. And I actually have to put this into hibernation mode because of the fact that it doesn't have electric charge. It refills with electric charge every single time we burn. 
but I have to put it into hibernation mode so that it doesn't die and we have no uh, electric charge and we can't get it to Duna. So I I throw it into hibernation mode. I try, uh, I basically do all of its stuff. Anyway, here we are at the KSS Avalon. Very high in the sphere of influence over Jewel. And actually, we aren't even in the sphere of influence over Jewel. But it's we're, we're there, basically. Now we're there. And you can see Jewel off in the distance over there with his moons just floating around it. It's, uh, it's very, very tiny. You can barely see it. But I did decide to run some experiments, some EVA experiments. And yeah, um, it, it's looking, uh, it's looking like we can get some pretty good science from this mission. Uh, a lot of these, well, those two were pretty low, but we also have a, a, um, what's it called on board? We have a science, uh, module on board which should allow us to just farm up immense amounts of science and these people will stay here long enough for us to send another mission out with an automated probe or not a probe but to uh basically collect the science these people uh well these kerbals are going to be here for a very very long time um uh just as you can see right there uh, while it is almost, uh, it is almost time to reach the, uh, the transfer window, uh, we, we do have, yeah, it takes a while to reach Jewel, and, uh, here's where we're making our, so, we're about to quickly reach Tylo's sphere of influence, which will help throw us into a better trajectory. But once we reach that trajectory, as you'll see in a couple of minutes, man, this burn takes... We're at five times speed, and I had this burn at four times speed. It was a long burn. Uh, but yeah, it it's pretty good. And here I am throwing a whole bunch of stuff into the, the science module. And yeah, there we go. I just threw a whole bunch of stuff in there so we can earn up a ridiculous amount of science, which is always a great thing, especially for how far we are into this playthrough. We need to go quite a bit deeper in this playthrough in order to, you know, uh, gain, you know, more science. Anyway, the, uh, the apple apps of that thing there, we won't, you won't be able to see it very well. But the next maneuver node is in about 200 days, which is half a year. They're going to be spending half a year in uh, in basically their version of Jupiter's orbit. Just floating to their next maneuver node, which is wild. It just shows you how vast space is, even in a small area. Uh, uh, I think... Uh, their version of Jewel is only is roughly the size of our is roughly the size of Earth in reality, which kind of shows just how large Earth is if you just shove down all your days into five hour days. Which also, if you didn't know, that's how long Kerbal days are. They're only five hours. Um, but yeah, here I am messing around with maneuver nodes so I can try and get some encounters. Um, I'm also transferring. Uh, Kerbals around so we can actually make a good thing and yeah there we go if we take this uh, Tylo maneuver we can actually greatly change our trajectory around the solar or not the what is it the Julian system yeah and uh, there we go I basically do that and now we're jumping to another ship and here we are at Tai Chi station we're in mid Kerbin orbit, and uh, we're about to send some Kerbals home. They've been up here. Uh, they've been up here for, I believe, six months, like six Kerbal months. So we're uh, we're gonna send them home. Uh, yeah. So they're basically going back down to the surface, and they are going to uh, come in just a about 
the I don't know I, I yeah I basically just changed their the the way that they're coming into the atmosphere and yeah there we go we should be landing near the KSC and uh, yeah hopefully our Kerbals will end up okay and here they are just careening through the atmosphere just burning through that ablator of course and it's actually kind of crazy how like high up I did this it kind of skipped off the atmosphere and it's about to actually go fully back into the atmosphere again in just a second and here we go again we're quickly going to re-enter the atmosphere and this will be the last mission of the day and I'm so glad you guys stuck around through, you know, me not, you know, doing a video basically the second half of November. And the, the 1,000 subscriber goal still stands for the end of December. It still does. We could reach it. And that'll be it. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next time.